Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass here, and welcome to Palm Gets Wi-Fi. A game about the perils of modern internet use, social networking, and how it affects your writing. I'm just a palm. A palm spinning on a pillow. The sun is shining. The birds are singing. It looks like the perfect day. To spin on the internet. And spin. On my pillow. Now, what should I check first? First world problems. Gotta get my reblogs in. Wow, this fan art is a maze. Bless this drawing. Like, favorite, and subscribed. What? The artist is 14. Why this? So talent. This isn't possible. Leaps into an active volcano. Next up is... Face Wolf. Ironically, as I record this, there's a dog barking outside my window. <laughs> God, stop posting pictures of her fucking food. And showing off how much fun they're having without me. No one wants to see her pugly duck face, either. JFC, of course. Hey, looks like my top Pomeranian's FB group has some new members. Are you fucking kidding me? These are all humans showing off their dogs. I mean, those doges. What a bunch of racists. Controlling my people. A weird girl pretending to be a doge on the internet, my god. Are you seriously telling me I'm the only legit pom-pom doge on the website? Forget this, pun. I don't want to live on this planet anymore. Flies into the sun. It's getting late. <laughs> no, we're not going to Reddit. Let's see what I have here. Palm, it's not too late to apply. Palm, picture yourself at Berkeley. I'm a fucking Pomeranian. What the hell do you guys want from me? Bark. Hey, it's my SAT question of the day. Delete. Still not sure why I signed up for that. Is it getting hot in here? Or is it just me? Finally, I need to check. Youch! F f fire! Fire! Master, wake up! It's getting hot in here. You have to get out of here. Check off all your clothes. Come on, this way! What the fuck? That fucking Shiba Inu is so noisy. What a huge weeaboo. Huh? Pom, you're still in here. We have to go. Master is already waiting outside. I swear to Doge, I mean dog. If you don't shut up, I'm gonna fucking knock the wall down. You hear me, Shiba? Pom, listen to me. Open your door and run for it. Go away. I'm Batman. No, I'm not leaving without you. If you stay here, you'll end up being a hot dog. <laughs> Hurry, the ceiling here looks like it's about to collapse. I. Ah. Finally, that dumb Shibi shut up. Is it just me or is it hella hot in here? More so than usual. Our owner should turn up the air conditioning. I mean, I am mighty sexy. It's hot wherever I go, but this is a bit much. Hey, owner! Air conditioning! Coffee. Wheezing. Tabak. Huh? This is much better. Now I can finally finish my daily rounds and check Red Egg. You. Eh? 
there's no Wi-Fi. Just kill me now. What did I ever do to deserve this? Aside from using two instead of two. I cry. Gross sobbing. <laughs> <laughs> now is not the time to be wallowing in self-pity. I gotta get up and do something about this. Y yeah Inspire. Respect. Doge. My sprite is awful. I look like a giant ball of fur. Yeah, I guess that's the point. Palm! Poopy head. I'm glad you didn't get hurt in the fire. Do you know where we are? I was waiting outside your room when... I made some kind of stupid joke about hot dogs and we all died. Uh, excuse you. I am hurt. In the... Kokoro. Huh? Now help me look for Wi-Fi. What? But, is it more important that we figure out how to get home first? We can worry about the Wi-Fi later. What the fuck did you just fucking say to me, you little bitch? You're fucking dead, kiddo. <laughs> What's this? Pom, you're kind of scaring me. This is an RPG battle. Stand there while I do a series of attacks. No one likes you. <laughs> You're hurting me! And the Kokoro. You're so ugly that Hello Kitty said goodbye to you. <laughs> no one will ever want to go out with you. <laughs> There's no need to get violent! Yo mama's so fat. Even Dora couldn't explore her. That's a good one. <laughs> That's a good one. Yo mama's so stupid. She stole free bread. <laughs> the fighting is bad. I fight with the heart. No need for physical punches. <laughs> My sick burns are so scathing. They'll melt your very flesh. Nick. Okay, Shibi. From now on, you're my manservant. I can talk to you whenever I want by facing you and pressing the Z key. Also, I've changed her name to Sebastian. Why the hell am I Sebastian? Because I like that anime. Of course, Cecil. I will help you get your Wi-Fi. Perfect. These are cherry blossoms. Jibei, stand over there. I mean here. Huh? Say, a new year, a new start. I hope Senpai notices me. A new year, a new... <coughs> no! You're doing it wrong. A new year, a new start. Not a new year, a new start. You must... Channel your inner, inner anime girl. Try to say it in Comic Sans too, by the way. I have no idea what you're trying to tell me. I don't speak weeaboo. But you're a Shiba dog. What kind of Shiba are you? Can't even speak in Comic Sans. I still don't get what I did wrong. You crushed all the Kokoros. Of all the Kohais out there. Don't you understand? Hi, hi, hi. Welcome to Doggy Heaven. Thanks. Wait, what? D -d 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 Doggy Heaven? Then that means... You got it. You're dead. Ugh. 
If this is heaven, then where the Wi-Fi at? In heaven, shouldn't there be ultra high-speed Wi-Fi everywhere? Despite what you may believe, Comcast has not in fact taken over everything. Oh my fucking god. Is that a new technology? I've been up here in heaven since that movie, All Dogs Go to Heaven. What a mixed film. Sorry. You better be sorry. Don't feel too bad. It's not exactly common knowledge for a dog to have. This is a really pink oven. The song... The song sounds like something out of Final Fantasy VII. A specific part of the game, I don't remember which one. Do you know where we can find Wi-Fi? Puno might know. She's upstairs. Okay, we'll go ask. Puddle! Do you know where to get Wi-Fi? What? I can't hear you! Do you know where to get Wi-Fi? It's this thing called the internet. It flows through the air. What? How long is this going to go on? We'll just go up and ask. Where do you find Wi-Fi? Wi-Fi? Yeah! I don't know! She doesn't know. We heard that loud and clear. See? Saved you the trouble of going up and asking her for yourself. Thanks, I guess. No, of course, we're still going to go up to her, talk to her anyway. Because we're completionists. Dog fucking damn it, I love bunnies! Punch me in a dick! Excuse me? It's internet talk. It's really dumb. Don't ask why. Did you know? Girls need cute things or else they'll die. You're still wearing your collar. Even up here in heaven. Why wouldn't I be wearing it? It's like a badge of honor. You're real loyal to your owner, huh? Hunemi pemi goody goody. A what? You're more confusing than the internet. Uh, excuse me, sir. Would you happen to know where we might be able to find... Wi-Fi? Wi-Fi? What the heck are you talking about? Stairs in the distance... Never mind, then. Do you know where we can find Wi-Fi? Wi-Fi? That sounds pretty familiar. I think the cafe has it. If you keep heading east, you'll see it for sure. Arigato, young doge. I owe you my life. I love... Yu-Gi-Oh. The glorious quest of one Wi-Fi. Not just any Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi with a good signal. Decent speeds. And non far downloads. Saying like pirate. It would have been funny if Gary had to carry around a rose this big. Who the heck is Gary? It's called breaking the fourth wall. Don't ask about it. This flower is so tall. And normal roses are Kokoro, Karuko, Karoko, and this one is Kagami. Sometimes I really kind of understand what you're saying. You see, I've been on the internet for a long time, and I speak of everything in anime terms. Save? Save what? The rainforest? 
The manatees? Humanity? I've been waiting for this. Park. Do you mind moving aside a little? We're trying to cross that bridge behind you. No can do. We've been in this line for an awful long time now, and it'd be simply terrible if we lost our place. Here, you can have these old barons' SAT books as our apology. Wait, we don't want these. Alma, isn't the weather today splendid? Not a cloud in the sky as usual. Discounting the one we're standing on, of course. They're ignoring you. They just unloaded a bunch of crap they don't want on us. Such is life. I can't wait to go to the park! I'm going to the train hard and become stronger! Good luck with that. You'll never be as strong as me. Look at these guns. Illegal in 50 states. This line to the park is moving a lot slower than usual. To be more precise, it's moving so slowly that it's not moving at all. It's dangerous in there. You can't go in. Thanks. What is it, you dumb shibby? What if we use this rock thing as leverage to climb over the fence? And then we'd be like, totally over the fence. Or over the garden wall. Then we could get into the park and see what the problem in this is there. There is. The fence looks too high to climb, even standing on top of the rock, though. It'd be great if they made this rock taller. That's it. We should make it taller. We have these books, right? See? If stack them on the rock, it's a little taller. Still not tall enough, though. Yeah, looks like we'll have to get more stuff to stack on it. That's a beautiful stained glass. It reminds me of Fate Hollow Atraxia. Or, I imagine not sure they pronounce that name. But the climax took place in the heavens on top of a stained glass. It looks almost exactly like this. You might know the series bearer as Fate Stained Night. And this is of the observatory. If you look down for the glass, you'll watch over your loved ones going about their lives. That's amazing. Do I really want to see everything in their life, though? Sounds awfully dull, and creepy, and boring, and stupid. Can you really see with fur over your eyes like that, though? Of course. The fur does keep poking me in the eyes, though. It's Master! Thank goodness. She doesn't appear to be hurt at all. She's standing in grass in front of some rectangular rocks in the ground with flowers. Oh no. Don't cry. You dumb shibby. She can't hear you. Please stop crying. I miss you too. You idiot. I already said she can't hear you. <sighs> Master! Just fucking kill me. Time to go look for stuff to stack like treacherous. Save? Help! I'm trapped! You okay? Don't you see? There's a spider over there! How did a spider get into heaven? Only dogs die and come up here. How did a spider, a single spider, get into heaven? That black speck? It's tiny. Normally Puddle takes care of the spiders, but she's not home. Why don't you just go kill it with a tissue? What if I try to get it and it dodges? And it's got the dark wood grain ring. And then crawls onto my paw. Oh come on. What's going to happen if it crawls on you? 
I'll die. That's impossible. Greetings, Spider. Today, you meet your doom. Can we just coax it outside? There's no real need to kill it. No! Then it might make more spiders! You have to kill it. <laughs> it have been slain! Thank you! Thank you! Thank you! You don't have to shout. Huh? What's all this commotion? These two just saved my life! By killing another, an innocent creature called a spider. In heaven. Sending it to... Not spider heaven, because it was already in heaven. It'd be going to, like, spider heaven heaven or something. N not really. I should be thanking you, then. Here, I have this. For saving Crest's life. You received a large inflatable dolphin. Da -da -da -da. Thanks, I guess. Dolphin. Bam. Poor Dolphy. Do you have anything we might be able to borrow? Actually. I happen to have those giant potted cactus on me right now. How do you just happen to have a, something like that with you? And it's so spiky. Like a cactus. That's okay. Hand it over. Palm? Please. You're stranger, so. How do I know if I can trust you two with it? Doesn't the fact that we're in heaven prove that we're good dogs? There's no such thing as a bad dog. Only bad owners and bad upbringings. Didn't you see that movie I mentioned earlier? All dogs go to heaven? With a singing crocodile? So every dog ends up here, regardless of whoever they turn out to be trustworthy or not. How do we get you to trust us, then? How about you run an errand for me? Do you know Pappy? She owes me a few dog treats. She hasn't been paying. And I don't like people dealing on my street without paying the price. You go over there, maybe you break some legs, maybe not. See how cooperative she is. We'll do our best. Not over the dog treats. A daylight robbery? No, no, we're, we're here on Goldie's behalf. She sent us here to retrieve the dog treats you owe her. Oh, about that. I already ate them. Period, bud. Microwave. Uh, I should do it properly. Period, bud. Microwave? What do we do now? How about you give her this instead? You received a family comp. I guess we'll have to take this back to Goldie and explain what happened. And I hope he's not upset that none of his SNES games are going to play on this. Also known as the Stupid Nintendos. You're back. Where are the treats? About that. Pappy told us she'd eaten them all. She gave us this thing instead. It's not our fault. Honest the dog. Or doge. Cascote, please give us the giant cactus. Calm down. I was testing you too, and you passed with flying colors. We did? Knowing Pappy, it would have been strange if you really did come back with dog treats. But what kind of test is that? There's no way we could have. No, of course not. The test was about whether you'd come back to me with the Famicom. Eh? I can see you two stacking stuff on that rock thing over there, you know. That's why you wanted my pod plat potted cactus, correct? That's right. But why didn't you just use the Famicom? The bottom is pretty flat, way better for stacking than the cactus is. 
Especially when one of the things was stacking is a damn balloon dolphin something. I didn't think about using it. You were so determined to make me trust you that you were totally distracted from your original goal. Honestly, that's kind of adorable. Oh, stop it, you. Here, you can have the Famicom. Now that I think about it, you have ended up with the Famicom either way. But this method has the extra bonus of me trusting you. Trust is good. I like to think that counts for something. It does. Thanks. Fact. Pump Pump just wants a Wi-Fi. 